so, uh, so today I will, uh, so our goal is uh, to prove mm, mm, the result about the specialization morphism on uh, fundamental groups. So I will recall the setting. So we have um, uh, complete uh, discrete valuation ring. Uh, we have uh, maximal ideal, and we assume that uh, the residue field is algebraically closed. Uh, and we have um, mm, a scheme X, which is over, uh, over A, and we assume that this is proper. Uh, so uh, we have uh, we have spec A. Uh, we have closed point spec A, and we have uh, the generic point spec capital K, and we also need. Uh, To take the geometric generic point. So here I have scheme X zero, sorry, X. Here I have the fiber, which I will denote by X zero. Uh, and uh, here I have XK, and here I have XK bar. And my goal is to compare the fundamental group of this and the fundamental group of this. Mm -hmm. So uh, how it goes? Uh, so this goes this way, this goes this way. Uh, so we have uh, pi one et al of x k, which goes to pi one et al x, and uh, there is a map to pi one et al x zero, and we already know that this map, this homomorphism is an isomorphism. This was one of the principal results that we already proved. Mm, and so here, by functoriality, I have uh, the map from x k bar, and the composition is called the specialization map. And so the, uh, uh, the main theorem uh, is that, uh, so if F, in addition to being proper, properness is needed for this statement, uh, if F is in addition, uh, is uh, also smooth, Then uh, specialization is surjective, and it's uh, it's an isomorphism on uh, on quotients on finite quotients, which is which is of order co prime to characteristic of k. So uh, and uh, for uh, any uh, continuous homomorphism from pi 1 et al of uh, xk bar to some g. So here g is any finite group, and this is a continuous homomorphism. It's, it's a profinite group, so it's, its kernel is open. Uh, with uh, and any uh, with order of G relatively prime to characteristic. For example, if characteristic is zero, this condition is empty. Uh, uh, 
phi factors through uh, specialization. Mm -hmm. So you have homomorphism from here to G, and the claim is that you can, uh, we already know that because of the subjectivity, we know that uh, that uh, if, if it factors, it factors uniquely. So the claim is that it indeed factors. So it tells us something about the kernel of this map. Mm -hmm. So that the kernel has no uh, finite quotients of order co-prime to characteristic of the residue field. So this is a uh, really a big theorem. It's a, it's a deep result. It's, uh, it's proof takes a while and, well, involves many ideas. Okay? So, uh, we, uh, last time I proved this subjectivity. Uh, so, uh, the rest, today and tomorrow, we will, we will prove the remaining part of the theorem about the kernel of this specialization map. So, uh, let me, uh, somehow, when you, uh, it's, it's good to have some kind of examples in mind, right? Uh, where it's easy to kind of, uh, where all this kind of phenomena that we have here are e easy to check and maybe to prove, but still non-trivial. So let's, let's consider the following example. Let's, let's, uh, 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 let's consider the case of elliptic curves, but actually before I, I, I pass to elliptic curves over a DVR, let's, uh, let's talk about the fundamental group of elliptic curve over a field, over an algebraically closed field. So uh, this, this is a subject of one of the homework problem, but so I will, I will review it. So suppose I have an algebraically closed field K, uh, and E is an elliptic curve, elliptic curve, curve uh, over, over k. Um, mm -hmm. So what is, uh, let's, let's, let's compute pi 1. That's the only example of a curve of genus greater than, uh, uh, well, uh, so already in the case of curves of genus 2, computation of the fundamental group over, over a field of characteristic zero is extremely difficult. You, I, I don't know any explicit description of that group. So over a field of characteristic zero is just the profinite completion of the usual topological fundamental. But, okay. So, so in this case, uh, the group can be described explicitly. So I need to choose a base point. Uh, so let's take, uh, so elliptic curve comes with a, with, with a, uh, identity elements, so let's let's call it E. So this, I think of this as a, my base point. That's a K point. So let's see. Let's see. Mm -hmm. mm, so how to compute this? Well, uh, so one way to compute a fundamental group of any scheme is to use a universal cover and take the the group of uh, automorphisms of the universal cover. The universal cover is not actually a finite cover. It's rather a uh, limit of finite covers. So, uh, so what you can do, you can take, uh, so, so this uh, pi 1 can be explicitly described as follows. So, um, mm, so you take uh, automorphisms in just in this category, finite et al uh, cover of E of uh, all uh, uh, finite uh, Galois covers. What is a Galois cover? That's a, that's, uh, a concept that makes sense for any Galois category, right? So uh, remember that a Galois category is, is equivalent to 
a category of uh, finite sets with an action of a profinite group, by one. So what is a Galois cover? So a Galois cover, well, it's, uh, by definition, it's, it's, a, it's a connected cover such that uh, the order of the group of automorphism of this cover is equal to its degree. So the order, so if you have a, what does it mean to say that uh, a cover is connected? It means that action of pi one on the corresponding finite set is transitive. So automorphism of the cover is, is just uh, automorphism of this finite set commuting with action of pi one. So you cannot have more than the cardinality of this set automorphisms. That means that, uh, and when the equality holds, the cover is, is called the Galois cover. Okay, so you take, you take all Galois covers, so you take limits, limit over all, uh, uh, over all Galois covers, covers, connected covers with this property, uh, uh, E prime uh, E, let's, let's call it F, uh, with, uh, uh, equipped with a point, marked point, E prime in E prime with uh, f of e prime equal to e, right? So uh, uh, the, how, how, again, so, so the fact that the uh, uh, fundamental group is equal to this group of, to this, this, this limit is a general property of any Galois category. And the idea is that the fiber functor that assigns to every finite et al cover its fiber over, over E is sort of its pro-representable. It's, uh, it's, it's equal to the uh, co-limit of functors representable by these covers. Mm -hmm. And therefore, by your nedalem, you have this, this, this property. So, uh, okay, so now how uh, Galois covers, so, so in order to understand the fundamental group, we have to understand how uh, covers of E look like and uh, what the group of automorphisms. So, uh, okay, uh, uh, so what, what do we know? Uh, so, so suppose, uh, mm, mm. I have any cover, this is F, uh, and uh, so, uh, well, so suppose that it's E prime is connected, then it's a curve, and by Riemann Horvitz, that also must be a curve of genus one. Right? Because if you take the pullback of a differential form, of global differential form, it's, it's going to be a non-zero, non-vanishing differential form on E prime. So on E prime, you have a global non-vanishing differential form. It's canonical class is trivial. So it must be of genus zero. Why it's, uh, why it's uh, non-vanishing? Because the, the map, the morphism map, induces isomorphism on tangent spaces by definition of Natalia. Okay, so this is also, and you, you also have point e, e prime that maps to E, and uh, uh, so this, this makes it in the elliptic curve. Also elliptic curve. Elliptic curve. Okay, so uh, e, I can think of E prime as the identity element for the addition on this elliptic curve. So any morphism, of elliptic curves, well, of curves of genus one uh, that takes a mark point to mark point is a, is, is a group homomorphism. It takes sum to sum. I have a question. Mm -hmm. R over K was not algebraically closed. Is it allowed that E prime would be the non-trivial torsor for some elliptic curve and it would cover E? Well, when you define uh, the notion of uh, uh, 
Um, let's see. So, so when you uh, uh, when you uh, take by definition uh, the universal cover is kind of is the limit of all GLA covers over. So, sort of, you take the limit over the category of all GLA covers together with E prime, right? Otherwise, it's not a filtered category. Well, it's, uh, so you have to fix it. Yes, but E prime is a geometric point, right? A geometric point, right. So it allows that it might not be right. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes. So, uh, uh, good. So you have this morphism of elliptic curve. And for any morphism of elliptic curves, you can construct what's called the, uh, uh, the transpose ma map, right, from E to E prime, with the property that uh, the composition F with uh, uh, F transpose is multiplication by the degree, right? So this, this is multiplication by degree. And now um, mm, there, let's consider the, uh, so uh, uh, mm, OK. Um, let's take, uh, consider two cases. Uh, Ну, один способ его определить такой. Вот у меня есть отображение между эллиптическими кривыми, значит, есть двойственное отображение на пик 0 в другую сторону. То есть вот это отображение есть двойственное, но пик 0 от эллиптической кривой. Изоморф на самой эллиптической кривой — это то, что вот такое Абелево многообразие, которое самодвойственно. В старшей размерности транспонирование отображение будет отображение между двойственными обелевыми многообразиями. То, что если F имеет конечный порядок, то есть его по ядро F состоит из точек конечного порядка. Да, убивающихся умножений на эту штуку. Нет. А значит, она лежит внутри подмножества точек конечного порядка, а когда мы факторизуем по подмножеству точек конечного порядка, Я повторю, как можно геометрически построить, how, how you can construct geometrically this map. So you take a point here, a point of E, right? A point of E. You take its preimage. The preimage need not be unique but it's defined up to the kernel of this map. But the kernel of this map is a finite group killed by this number. So if you take any preimage and then multiply by this number, you get a well-defined element of a prime, point of a prime. That's how this, this transpose map is, can be defined. But for this definition, you also need to have to be separate. Well, yeah, so I said on, on, on points, yeah. But, but uh, if, you, if you kind of want to construct it, so, so on points, you do what I said. Uh, but on, if you want to define it as a morphism of schemes, you better use uh, interpretation with the Picard. OK? So uh, mm, good. Uh, so now, um, mm, so let's take, consider two cases. Well, on points it works. So it means that sort of x to x to the p inverse is a morphism? I claim that if you, right, if you take Frobenius inverse and multiply it by the degree of the Frobenius, which is p, then you get a well-defined morphism. So for, uh, if f is the Frobenius, there exists another map, which is called the Farshibank map, such that the composition of that two map, of these two maps is equal to multiplication by p. Mm -hmm. So let's consider two cases. Uh, 
characteristic of k is zero, right? Then uh, this map is uh, then uh, 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 multiplication by uh, 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 let's call this d by d is a tal is finite a tal. Well, it's always finite because it's morphism of course and it's dominant uh, and it's a tal because it's differential is equal to multiplication by d. So it must be, it's invertible. Uh, mm, and then, uh, so, so this, this diagram shows that uh, so every finite tal cover of E can be covered by, uh, dominated by a cover of this form. And therefore, when I take the limit, uh, so this pi 1 uh, et al of, uh, mm, of E uh, is simply automorphism, well, its limit over all D of uh, uh, the group of automorphisms of uh, this map, right? Okay, so now what is this? So here we take uh, maps from uh, E to E, automorphisms of this curve, not elliptic curve, just of, of, of a scheme E, right? It doesn't have to take the mark point to itself. We have to, we take the group of covering transformations. So that's automorphism in this category. Mm -hmm. So, uh, mm, and now, uh, well, uh, so uh, th again, this is a general property of, um, uh, of a Galois uh, category that any automorphism is determined by what it does with one point in the fiber, right? Because you have, you take automorphism of a set with a transitive action of pi one. So it's determined by the image of one point. So it is determined by where, what it does with point E. And uh, it must preserve this map. So, so point E must go to another point such that D times this other point is equal to E. So uh, this is simply the group So what is this group? N torsion points. I can translate E by D torsion point. Just uh, consider a map from E to E that uh, takes a point X and add to it a fixed point of order D. So this is E D. Okay. Where uh, mm, uh, ED is the fiber. It's it's a group of uh, uh, E torsion points, D torsion points. It's a group scheme in general, right? It's the kernel of this map, the fiber. Uh huh. So, but this, I think of this as a, just as a discrete, finite, discrete group. So, D torsion points. And that's equivalent to uh, uh, another way of phrasing this is you take homomorphisms uh, just in the category of abelian groups from Q mod Z uh, to E K, right? This group is equal to the inductive limit of one over D Z over Z and having homomorphism from this finite group to this group is precisely mm, is equivalent to given a G torsion point. Mm -hmm. Very good. 
So it turns out that the C, so, so we proved this formula. Uh, and uh, uh, so it turns out that the same formula holds even if in positive characteristic. So uh, if characteristic of K is equal to P, uh, though, uh, so what, what changes here? So, so again, for any F, I can take F transpose. Uh, I have this map, but the problem is that this map need not be at all. Its differential is still multiplication by D. So if D is not, uh, is divisible by P, so the differential is going to be zero. So, uh, mm, uh, okay. Um, mm, so, uh, so, so that's not at all. But what I can do, uh, so if I have uh, any map, so here, E prime, this is F, uh, and this is E, uh, this, is, this is not at all. Uh, so that's multiplication by D. So what does it mean that, so, so it's not at all, it means, well, this is a group homomorphism, so it's all fibers, it's, uh, it's not at all over, it's nowhere at all, right? The differential at every point is zero. If D is divisible by P. It means that the corresponding extension of the field of rational functions is not separable. But if you have a non-separable extension, you can uniquely write it as a uh, sort of fitted into a tower of a separable maximal, separable sub-extension sub and totally inseparable. So, so geometrically, it means that you can factor it uh, as a uh, composition of some power of the Frobenius map. I can take absolute Frobenius map and some, uh, some other map, which uh, I will call, uh, let me see, uh, what's, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that I, and this is fine at the top. Fine at the top, right? So, uh, well, because, uh, so why it's fine at the top? Because it corresponds to a separable extension of the base field. So that means that it's at all somewhere. Over, or there exists a point over which it's a tal, but because it's a group homomorphism, it's tal, if it's a tal at one point, if the differential is non-zero at one point, it's nowhere zero. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know what that means, that it's a different way of non-normalization of the non-normalization of the non-normalization of the non Конечные, что если у меня есть кривая, то конечные морфизмы, э, конечные как бы накрытия, возможно, разветвленные у этой кривой, они за, находятся в взаимоднозначном соответствии с расширением полей. Задать какую-то кривую, связанную, и э, которая отображается в Е, доминантно, это то же самое, что задать расширение поля. Да. А, вот, поэтому, а, значит, получается так. Mm. Okay, so maybe still I need, uh, yeah, yes, let's, uh, let's, let's give it a name. So I, let's, let me call it HD. So this, this, this HD depends only on integer D and it's, it's equal to multiplication by D when D is relatively prime. So, and because this is uh, a tal, in particular it's separable, uh, so, uh, uh, this uh, this map factors through E prime, right? This is this corresponds to a separable sub-extension. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, so even in this case, I found uh, we we can we find uh, 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 so 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 we have that pi one uh, of. Uh, 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 of um, et al of my elliptic curve is equal to the limit uh, 
over all d of automorphisms of, uh, of this cover. Mm -hmm. Well, if you uh, care about the, uh, the, if you care about the K structure, uh, if you, so, so, so uh, the twist of of E is really isomorphic to it as an abstract scheme. It's not isomorphic as a K scheme, but I don't care about K schemes here, right? I mean, I don't care about the structure morphism to K, so, so the, the notion of fundamental group does not depend on that. Okay? You, but you're absolutely right. This map is not K linear. It's Frobenius. Ну, вот, вот это вот по определению у меня такой абсолютный Фробениус. Он просто берет каждую функцию и возводит по этой степени. Да. Вот. Он не является, как, как Дима говорит, а, ну, конечно, он, он на, на K он тоже действует нетривиально. Окей. So, that now what is the automorphism of this cover? Right? So, it's still, uh, it's still just the, the group of the, uh, it's, it's the kernel of this map. Right? You can take a point of E and you can translate it by any element of the kernel of this map. This, that's a group homomorphism. It's determined by what it does with, with just one point, E, and it's, uh, um, and it's um, yeah, well, you can only translate it by, uh, by a point which is in the kernel of this map. But the kernel of this map is equal to the, uh, uh, kernel of the composition because on k points this map is is an isomorphism right so uh, it has no kernel my uh, uh, so what does it do in k points it's it's just if you have a morphism from spec k to e, you simply precompose it with a Frobenius automorph with a uh, Frobenius automorphism of, uh, of, of, of k. But Frobenius is really an automorphism on k because k is algebraically closed. So uh, that means that what you have is, uh, again, uh, limit uh, over all uh, uh, D of E D K, which is the same as uh, morphisms, homomorphisms from Q mod Z to uh, mm, uh, to uh, uh, E K, right? But still, uh, though uh, this formula looks kind of similar to what we have here, it's uh, abstractly, it's a different, it could be, it's, it is a different group. So, uh, uh, so uh, if characteristic uh, of uh, k is zero, then, uh, so each of this group is isomorphic to z mod dz squared, you have, right? And uh, uh, so uh, I will write it uh, so as, as first. So, so uh, well, first of all, it's, it's, it's convenient to decompose it uh, into product over all primes using the Chinese remainder theorem uh, and uh, uh, so what what you what you are going to have is is uh, uh, so here I will take um, well I will first write it down T L of E uh, where T L of E is a uh, uh, limit 
uh, of uh, E uh, L to the uh, N uh, K uh, and limit is taken over all. Well, uh, maybe I, uh, I write here uh, characteristic zero. I should, I should. Uh, that's true in general. What, what happens? Let, let me erase this, and I will. Uh, yeah. So now, uh, so, uh, so now, if characteristic is zero, then uh, uh, for every L, this TL of E abstractly, so I take the uh, limit of groups, each of which is isomorphic to Z mod uh, uh, to the L to the power N, Z squared, uh, and uh, this is the obvious projection map, so that's abstractly isomorphic to Z L squared. So, uh, and uh, uh, pi 1 uh, et al uh, of e is uh, isomorphic to z uh, hat squared, right? Mm. Mm. Very good. So that's kind of agrees with what we, uh, with, with the comparison result. So we know that if case the field of complex numbers, then this should be profinite completion of the topological fundamental group of z squared. That's what we get. And if characteristic is uh, of k is p, then uh, 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 for uh, l not equal to p, so uh, cl is uh, still isomorphic to ZL squared. Well, because uh, multiplication by L is, a, is, in this case, is a tal. This differential is multiplication by L. And it has degree L squared. So that means that mm, the kernel of this map is uh, Z mod L Z squared. So, so you have a squared points of order uh, of order a, and they well form a group isomorphic to z mod and z squared. Then, then passing to the limit, you get the state. And when uh, for uh, <coughs> and tp of e, so here the situation is different. So the multiplication by p. Uh, is not at all. We know that it's uh, uh, it's um, mm, its differential is zero. So you can, according to this general result, you can factor multiplication by p as a composition of Frobenius and something else. And this something else is a morphism of degree p. And there are two possibilities. Either it's this morphism of degree p, which is which is called the Verschiebung map, right? So you have e, uh, you have uh, P, you have Frobenius, and you have this map. Uh, so either uh, this, which is which is uh, also called the happens to be the transpose, because we know that the composition is multiplication by P, and this determines uniquely the map. Mm, so. Um, mm, okay, so it's either uh, separable, and in this case, uh, in this case, you the uh, the you have p points p uh, the, the you have precisely p points of order p, or it's still inseparable. So it's it's uh, Frobenius composed with an automorphism. So in this case, there are no points of order. P. And this implies that this group is either uh, is either ZP abstractly isomorphic to ZP or it's isomorphic to zero. So in this case, the curve is called super singular, 
And in this case, it's code ordinary. Mm -hmm. Okay? So that's the picture. Now, uh, 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 now let's uh, 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 see how this fits into uh, the theorem. Mm, so, well, I, I want to use. Uh, let's take for for simplicity. Let's just take. Uh, let's consider. So let's let's now take uh, let uh, e. Uh, be an elliptic curve over ZP. Curve over uh, ZP. Uh, what does it mean? It means that it's a smooth uh, connected group scheme, uh, smooth proper connected group scheme over ZP. Uh, such that the, every fiber has dimension one. It's the uniquely, well, it's, it's uh, in particular, well, in particular, the fibers are uh, proper uh, curves, smooth proper curves, which has a group scheme structure, which forces them to be in elliptic curves. Okay? So, um, mm, okay. Uh, uh, now, uh, mm. So what do we have? Uh, uh, so uh, I want to apply this theorem. I can deploy it because the residue field is not algebraically closed, but I can take for A, uh, I can best change it. I can take for A, say, uh, width vectors of uh, F, uh, P bar, right? And it contains ZP. It's a periodic completion of the maximal unramified of the universal cover of this guy. So I can best change, uh, and uh, maybe I need some. Uh, yeah. So uh, so we have pi one. Uh, of uh, uh, I need some uh, so frac uh, a is, is usual k whatever it it's it's uh, again it's completion of uh, of the maximal unramified extension of QP so and you have specialization map from uh, pi one of e uh, uh, k bar. Uh, to uh, pi one uh, of um, e uh, f p bar, right? So this is specialization, and uh, uh, yeah, maybe I should, yeah, okay. So that's. That's good enough. So now we have we have we computed these two groups. So this group we know that that's that's uh, so this is product of all L of Tate modules of uh, E K bar, uh, and this is uh, well that's that's uh, abstractly it's the same. Uh, it's T L. Uh, so sorry, it's it's also product. Tate modules, but the Tate modules are, uh, as groups need not be isomorphic uh, when A is equal to P, and uh, so this is this is an isomorphism. This is an isomorphism. So we uh, the specialization map should be given by uh, a homomorphism from this product of Tate modules to corresponding product of Tate modules for. Uh, uh, 
for, for, the, for the special fiber. Okay, so now what you can contemplate what, what this specialization map is really is explicitly, right? So, um, mm, so if you have, uh, 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 if you have an uh, elliptic curve over anything, you can take its, uh, 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 say, points, uh, the, the sub-scheme of points of order D, and you can take its uh, 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 points with, um, uh, with uh, coefficients in K bar, this is, this is just K bar D torsion points, uh, then uh, you can uh, using the properness of elliptic curve, you can uh, identify it with every K bar points, K bar point extends to a point with values in or K bar, right? That's the integral closure. So uh, I want to say that it's a corollary of the relative criteria of properness, right? Every morphism from spec of K bar extends to a morphism from or K bar. Uh, but well, strictly speaking, what has to be careful here because this is not a discrete valuation ring. Uh, but well, any K bar points is actually defined over some finite extension, so that's okay. So you have this map, and that's, sorry, you, you have the kind of the inverse map, or the restriction map, but this is an isomorphism. Okay? So, and now if you have uh, a point with values in OK bar, you can simply restrict it, reduce it, and you get a map here. Mm -hmm. Да, 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 объединение. Окей, so uh, here I have uh, uh, the same, but now F uh, P bar. Uh -huh. That's the residue field. So this is the reduction map. So if I have a point with values here, I can reduce it more to the maximum ideal and get a point here. So, so this, uh, uh, this composition, uh, gives me a map from one Tate module to the other Tate module. And you can, it's hard to imagine that specialization is, is something different from that. Uh, and in fact it is, so the diagram is, is commutative where this map is explicitly described here. So, uh, mm, so, so what is the content of this theorem in this case? Well, it's very, pre it's, it's the statement that when D is relatively prime to characteristic of the residue field, where relatively prime to P, that this reduction map is an isomorphism. So that means that if I have two points uh, of order D, or K points, or K bar points, then uh, if they are different, then their reduction mod P, mod, mod, mod of the maximal ideal is also different, right? And uh, of course this is not, uh, uh, you, can, uh, you can kind of see it, uh, uh, mm. You can, you can see it easily, you can, you can prove it directly by, uh, 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 by uh, observing that uh, this map, uh, this, this uh, uh, so, so you, have, uh, you have a diagram, uh, uh, this is E, and this is finite et al, et al, uh, if uh, D is relatively prime to P, uh, and uh, and this is uh, this this is spec C, mm, spec uh, OK bar, 
So that means that this is also finite et al. And therefore, abstractly, it's a scheme. It's just isomorphic to disjoint union of finitely many copies of this guy. Oh, uh, that's multiplication by D. Thank you. Mm -hmm. That's just because the differential is invertible. Yes. This is a zero second. yes. Okay, so disjoint code union, disjoint union of uh, copies of spec uh, or paper. That's a very good question. Uh, so, um, mm, uh, so if you have uh, a discrete valuation uh, domain, uh, if it were a complete discrete valuation domain, then uh, its, uh, uh, its fundamental group is equal to the fundamental group of its residue field. So if, uh, if instead of k bar, I have a finite extension, of, of this field K, then there would be no questions. Any, uh, any cover of uh, uh, spec of a finite extension of K, K has algebraically closed residue field, uh, is trivial. But any cover is defined over some finite extension. So that's OK. OK. So, uh, uh, so this, this shows that kind of the, the, the picture is really like this. Uh, you have uh, uh, spec OK and you have your cover is trivial. That's the picture of this. And uh, so, so the reduction is, is definitely a bijection. Yeah. Okay, so that's, that's the picture. So, so uh, this uh, shows that when A is, is not equal to P, this map is an isomorphism. And when and L is equal to P, well, we know that it's not an isomorphism because uh, this is at most ZP and this is ZP squared, right? So, uh, so I will. что утверждается, что что вот эта штука как схема, она просто равняется объединению спектров ока черты. Значит, ну все они это. Да, но мы знаем, что оно это. Да. Вот это Италия. В общем, почему диаграмма такая? А, нет, это, это определение. Что такое точки порядка... Что, что вот здесь написано? Здесь написано просто расслойное произведение. Так вот я определяю. Это что такое ЕД? Это ядро умножение на Д. Да. Значит, вот это вот единичный морфизм. Ну, это, это выражение в ноль. А. Что такое ядро? Это как раз... Да? Хорошо? Ага. Good. So, uh, uh, so uh, to summarize, what we have here is that uh, 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 oh, maybe I should have erased this. Uh, so, so just remember this result of this computation for finite field for for for, for fields of characteristic p. So, uh, mm, Okay, so uh, so we have that uh, uh, if L is not equal to P, the map from T L of elliptic curve over over K bar uh, to uh, 
the tape module of elliptic curve over F, uh, P bar, that's an, either, an isomorphism. And if L is equal to P, uh, well, then uh, 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 Again, so, so, so this, is, uh, uh, this is always isomorphic to Zp squared. Uh, so you have Zp of e, uh, Fp bar. Uh, so, uh, uh, and this is uh, uh, either a Zp or zero. So that means that this map Specialization map uh, uh, cannot be an isomorphism. Uh, well, uh, but we prove that it's still we prove that it's surjective. So that's as much as you can see. So every FP bar point of uh, uh, finite order can be lifted to a point uh, or K bar point, but but that's, that's all you have. The lifting is not unique, so the picture will be like this. So, so for easy. So this is uh, ED, EP, let's see. And this is spec, uh, OK, bar. OK, I will lift it. Mm -hmm. so, so hopefully. Сейчас какой вопрос? Да. Ну мы видели, что ядро, что что если я рассмотрю ядро вот такого вот отображение, умножение на p, то это ядро, оно либо тривиально, либо изоморфно ZPPZ. Почему? Потому что, ну тут вот мы как бы его пропустили через Фробениус. Вот. Uh, вот, вот это отображение, оно изоморфизм на точках, uh, а, а это отображение, оно индуцировано некоторым v, который имеет уже степень p. Поэтому, uh, mm, ну, если оно сепарабельно, uh, uh, то это значит, что оно итально, это значит, что uh, в слое ровно p точек. Это группа. Поэтому это zppz. Значит, э, значит, ядро вот этого отображения это либо ZPPZ, либо 0. Ну нет. Нет. Это следует из теории. Ну да. Что у нас уже есть сам ну, да. Да, если вы посчитаете точки порядка p в квадрате, из них есть отображение в точке порядка p, умножение на p. Вы знаете, что это отображение субъективно? Потому что, потому что умножение на p — это все-таки субъективное отображение на эллиптических кривых, как бы на, как, как на схемах. Поэтому вот, любая, любая fp с чертой точка здесь может быть поднята до какой-то точки здесь. Поэтому отображение умножения на p, оно, значит, субъективно. Но отсюда следует, что это неизбежно z. Да, да. Да, ага.
Ну, то есть, а, а, вот мы берем вот эту схему, вот, а, где она там, а, вот эту схему. Это конечная групповая схема. Она как устроена? Там есть какое-то количество связанных компонентов, и есть как бы такая ну, совершенно нелепатентная групповая схема, которая есть нелепатентное толщение точки. Вот э, высота, значит, ну, нелепатентные групповые схемы на dfp чертой, они все имеют порядок p в какой-то степени h. И вот это h называется высотой. Ну, значит, здесь это будет h равняется, э, равняется единице или двойке. Uh, what? Uh, very good. So, uh, but uh, in general, I mean, uh, uh, the the picture is it's really kind of example one should have in mind. On the other hand, one should also realize that the, the 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 picture in general is much more involved. For example, there is a remarkable theorem of uh, Raynaud, I'm not going to use it uh, and will not prove it, that uh, if uh, g is greater than one, well, so let's say, let's consider the following map. Uh, curves of uh, genus uh, greater than one over fp bar. Uh, all finite groups. Groups. So it takes a curve C and sends it to pi one et al of C. Is uh, uh, finite to one. That means that a curve up to finitely many choices over FP bar is determined by its fundamental group, which is really a remarkable statement, right? So a, a curve of genus G, all curves of genus G over complex numbers have the same fundamental group. It's just a group with two G generators and one relation. So here we also have, well, it's not true that the fundamental group of all elliptic curves is the same. So it depends only on the fact whether it's sing, uh, ordinary or super singular. But for curves of genus greater than one, this, this, uh, you have this, this statement. Okay? Uh, okay, so let's, uh, uh, now let's see what, what we, mm. Mm. What we need to uh, prove, so the theorem is still in the blackboard. Uh, so, uh, okay. Uh, so what we uh, have to prove. So I'm talking about this statement. Mm, okay. So suppose you have, so I will, so that's, uh, so here I stated the result about in terms of the fundamental group, but the fundamental group controls uh, finite et al covers. So let's reformulate it in terms of finite et al covers. So the reformulation is the following. Uh, so suppose, just to, co to convince you, what's, imagine that this map were nice, uh, injective. What, what, uh, suppose you have injective map on fundamental groups. What does it say about the uh, finite Galois covers, right? It says that if you have a, uh, a set, a finite set with an action of this group, then uh, it, uh, uh, you can lift it to a set with an action 
uh, of this group. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I said something completely uh, stupid. Suppose you have uh, a set with an action of this group, then uh, it descends to a set with an action of this group. So in other words, every Galois cover of this guy determines a Galois cover of this guy. Also of this. So uh, here we do not have injectivity, have a slightly weaker statement. I will formulate explicitly what it means in terms of covers. So, uh, so suppose you have uh, 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 a Galois cover with a uh, uh, Gala group with a group of automorphism G and uh, so it's relatively prime to characteristic. Then, uh, so what you want to show is that so here I have X uh, and uh, so I call it so A bar uh, in uh, K bar is integral closure. Integral closure of uh, A in K bar. So, uh, and they have inclusion. And uh, so the claim is that there exists mm, uh, you can extend this cover to a cover of this guy. So, so I will dotted line here. There exists, uh, uh, there exists a cover like this, which makes this diagram commutative. Well, it's, it's sorry, not commutative. It's, it's really a uh, Cartesian diagram. Какая? Uh, ah, no, это, хорошо, давайте как-нибудь иначе. Не, не, ну я хотел нарисовать с другим шрифтом Y, но может я не очень удачно. Давайте, давайте я так нарисую. Хотя мне меньше нравится. Ага. Значит, утверждение заключается в том, что любое накрытие, конечное накрытие, глаз такой вот группой, вот общего слоя геометрического продолжается. А сурективность означает, что единственным образом до накрытия вот этой схемы. Mm -hmm. Ну, например, uh, so, so, for example, again, if x is an elliptic curve, then we have many, we have, we have classified all covers, and essentially they all come from multiplication by some integer d. And in this case, I can take for this the same elliptic curve and also multiplication by d, because it's a tal, if d is relatively prime to p. Okay, so but we need to show it in general. Okay, so and um, mm, so in fact, so so given y, I want to construct y tilt, and in fact there is a candidate for what y tilt should be, and this candidate is called the normalization of uh, uh, of of this in this, and I will I want to explain for you what the normalization recall for you what a normalization is. Mm -hmm. The difficult part will be then to show that this normalization is indeed a tau. No, сейчас, сейчас, давай я, давай ты спросишь через секунду. Я сейчас объясню. Okay, so, uh, okay, so fundamental group, that's kind of a digression, Fundamental group, an easy uh, fundamental group uh, of uh, normal schemes. Schemes. Okay, so let's start with a lemma, which uh, I think most of you know. So, uh, so uh, uh, let E uh, be. Uh, Nathurian uh, uh, normal uh, 
domain. Uh, with uh, fraction field K and uh, suppose I have a finite uh, separable extension. Then uh, uh, the integral closure, closure of um, uh, A in integral closure, let's call it B in uh, L, is uh, finite over. Um, mm -hmm. let's, let's prove this. Uh, this is a nice result in commutative algebra. So in fact, it's true also for non-separable extensions, but I will not use it. Uh, so uh, the, the idea is the following. Um, mm, uh, so let's take the, uh, the, the, the trace form. Consider the trace form L, uh, L uh, to K. So uh, trace uh, Q of uh, X comma Y is equal to trace L K of the product. So and the finite field extension is separable if and only if this form is non degenerate So pick uh, a basis. Uh, K basis uh, alpha, say, uh, beta 1, beta n uh, for L uh, such that uh, all beta i are in fact in, a, in, in, in B. And I can definitely do this because I can take any basis and then multiply these elements by some elements in A, each of this better I, to make them in B. And let uh, 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 beta 1 uh, star uh, beta n star be the dual basis. Mm -hmm. Now, uh, so okay. So since the trace map uh, L over Q over K takes B to E. Right? So why is that? Because every element of B is, uh, uh, is integral over A. So it satisfies some equation, this coefficient, monic equations with coefficients in A. So that me therefore, the uh, eigenvalues of uh, the operator multiplication by an element of B are all integral over A. And A is integrally closed. So, so that means that the sum of eigenvalues, which is the trace, is integral over A, and it also belongs to K. Therefore, it's, it's actually an element of A. Uh, uh, we have that B is in uh, A beta 1 star uh, plus a beta 2 star plus so on and so on. And that's complete the proof. So we show that B is a submodule of a finitely generated module, but A is in the theory and so we add that. Okay, so that's uh, 
uh, one thing. And uh, so uh, there is a, uh, um, mm, mm, so, so uh, using this, uh, I can, so, so if you have a uh, finite separable extension of A, you can uh, produce a sort of finite et al uh, scheme, spec B, which is finite et al over A. And uh, so there is a, uh, and we need a generalization, non-affine version of this construction. So uh, construction. Uh, you need not be at all, yeah. Construction. Uh, so suppose I have X uh, is uh, Netherian, uh, 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 normal uh, integral uh, scheme uh, and uh, so uh, uh, it has a field of func uh, function field, field of rational function on X. I will denote it by K right, the field of rational functions. Uh, that's notation, function field. Uh, and let uh, uh, let's suppose that we are given a finite separable extension. Separable extension. Uh, uh, normalization of uh, uh, X in L is uh, a pair consisting of uh, uh, a normal uh, scheme Y with uh, 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 normal uh, integral, integral uh, y with a finite morphism morphism from y to x uh, such that and uh, together with an isomorphism between y uh, and um, mm, generic fiber is spec A. Okay. And uh, Time. Uh, so uh, lemma uh, normalization uh, exists and unique up to a unique isomorphism. So this is a trivial consequence of the previous lemma. When X is, uh, is, um, is affine, then, well, Y also must be affine. And uh, so it's, uh, uh, it's uh, integral, uh, integrally closed. It's fraction field. Fraction field of B must be L. So, so Y must be the spectrum of the integral closure, spectrum of that B. So in the case when X is affine, the uh, proof is immediate from that lemma. When X is not affine, you just cover X by uh, affine open parts. Okay? So, sorry, I, uh, I want to say, uh, take two more minutes. Uh, so, uh, uh, mm, mm, 
So now I will need another fact from commutative algebra. Uh, so if uh, uh, you have an etal morphism from y to x, then um, it is it all? Uh, then uh, y is normal. Uh, then, then uh, so if x is normal, is normal. Then uh, uh, y is normal. Okay. Let me not comment this uh, now. Uh, uh, so, and let's 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 kind of let's derive corollary from this. Mm -hmm. So, um, mm, uh, so let's let's take uh, again. So X is going to be. Uh, an Ethereum uh, 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 normal uh, integral so I'm looking at the category of finite et al covers of X that's one category and another category is uh, the category of finite et al uh, covers of uh, spec K. So K again is function field, field of rational functions in X. And there is an obvious functor that takes uh, a finite et al cover over X and restricts it to a generic point. And now uh, the claim is that uh, this, this functor is fully faithful. So any cover of X is, can be reconstructed from its restriction to the generic point as normalization. So, so X, Y goes to, well, this cover, Y goes to X. Uh, uh, get sent to y times spec k over uh, over spec k, and this is y over x, right? And uh, uh, so uh, and so 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 uh, so so really the claim is that. This y is determined by this finite et al cover of a point. This is really the joint union of finite spectrum of finite separable extensions of a field. Da, 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 da. Действительно, если x нормально, то y тоже нормально. Вот по этому факту, потому что это итальянский морфизм, значит, вот у меня есть отображение из нормальной схемы, конечное отображение, но оно неизбежно, оно и одно. Вот как утверждалось, вот сейчас, ну вот, вот была лема, да, что, что нормализация существует. Значит, вот, вот она и есть. Вот. Uh, so corollary of this is that uh, uh, pi one et al of um, mm, spec k. No, потому что нормализация не обязана быть uh, этальной. Ага. Да, она совершенно не будет в общем случае этальной. Uh, значит. Uh, no, uh, nevertheless, so just from this, you get uh, surjection on fundamental groups. Uh, so, uh, right? 
That's a consequence. Нет. Нет. Оно абсолютно не полное. Любое. Главное, что нормально. Но, а... Надо же знать, что летальный морфизм конечен, а он же как бы не всегда конечен. Нет, он всегда, нормализация всегда конечна. Конечно. Нет, а, здесь же, вот здесь рассматриваются только конечные летальные морфизмы. Нормализация, она, а, это, это функтор, он... он... Нет, 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 тогда вопрос, нет, это только да. конечный. Да, да. Mm -hmm. только конечный, да. да. So, uh, okay, so that's, that's all I have. So, returning to the plan. So, remember that our goal was to, we had a, uh, some x over discrete valuation uh, domain, and we had a cover over, a finite et al cover of the generic fiber. And we want to show that it extends to a finite et al cover of, this, of the whole thing. So, the idea that we will realize next time is to take the normalization first pass to the generic point and then take the normalization. And then really the, the main work will be to show that that normalization is really a finite et al cover. That requires a lot of new ideas. It's, it's, it's not at all trivial. Okay, but I hope to finish this tomorrow. А что это? Да. Группа слева это просто группа ГУЛАКа, Чертенко. Ну да. Да, да, да. Ага. Да. 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 Да.